Theodore Roosevelt, a father, husband, author, hunter, explorer, naturalist, soldier, statesman, and the 26th President of the United States of America. Every American is taught in school that he was a great man, but was he a good man? As a recent college graduate, Theodore Roosevelt married Alice Hathaway in October 1880. In 1884, his mother and his wife died within the same day. Here's his journal entry after both his wife and his mother died. All he wrote was an X and with it saying, The light has gone out of my life. This caused much stress and despair for Theodore. He then fled to the West to start anew. He brought all these early life experiences into his political career and pumped up America. Throughout Theodore Roosevelt's political career, he made an effort to increase American prowess and power through aggressive policies. Here is Paul Grundahl, author of I Rose Like a Rocket, telling his thoughts about this. He believed in expanding the American empire. He was really the first president that uh, tried to expand uh, American influence beyond the United States. So he was Theodore, as vice president, used the slogan speak softly and carry a big stick. Theodore was heavily influenced by his father, and just like how his father strengthened him when he was sick through strenuous exercise, Theodore would strengthen America, make a weak country a global power, give America a big stick. In uh, Lower Manhattan, uh, near Gramercy Park, and uh, his father, you know, had him build a gym on a porch in the back of their house and he would go every day after school work out work out work out get all pumped up and that carried through his life you know he really saw america as a country that was kind of a asthmatic weakling as he'd been as a boy and it needed to pump itself up so he invested a lot of money in new ships and uh, built up the military because theodore was an arrogant man his daughter was always kind of sarcastic and and um would challenge him and at one point she said yeah my father wants to be the bride the groom the uh priest at the wedding like everything he wants to be the center of attention and theodore loved war throughout his life he wanted to be a war hero he encouraged the spanish-american war he also fought in the battle of san juan hill and won the medal of honor this proves his aggressiveness he also stated in a famous quote, I should welcome almost any war, for I think this country needs one. Theodore also thought that other countries were inferior to the U.S. Personally, he believed in that, that kind of uh, aggressive, uh, you know, you could call it machoism or whatever. And as a country, you know, that kind of extended. He believed that America uh, was the greatest country in the world. And if you judge by today's standards, he was somewhat racist. I mean, he believed, um, you know, he probably studied Manifest Destiny. He believed in a, in a version of that where uh, he had no problem, you know, having the United States take over the Philippines or, or other uh, foreign countries where he believed people were of an inferior race and inferior intellect than Americans. So how does this tie into our thesis? Because he treated other countries as inferior to America, this resulted in neighboring countries, mainly Latin America, because of the Spanish-American War, to perceive America as arrogant. Theodore made America what it is today. He made us a global power. He made us an arrogant global power that thought of other countries as just land. This changed how America encountered other countries and exchanged ideas with them in the future.